Might as well have well shut. And it's a bit funky with the light. You'll live. So, uh, this is only a, 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 a basics video anyway. So, uh, a lot of people, uh, well, I've got like five or six, maybe ten, maybe a hundred. Who knows? Maybe minus five. Uh, emails uh, yesterday when we were looking at the Brock thing. Um, number one is there were a lot of guys say there were some guys on Facebook saying stuff like Matt I don't know how you can't see an improvement improvement versus cost and is that improvement even worth it especially when you're losing bottom end that is up to you to decide that's the whole point before you guys you know you say to a 17 year old you get you know it's only got nine horsepower and you get an extra one you go oh great so in your mind you think well, that's more than 10%. You know, if I had a 10% bigger dick, that's just improvements. However, that's just peak, not bottom end, and it's what it costs you. <sighs> you know, for that price of 900 quid, just say, you can buy some fucking good tyres, some brake pads, um, some braided brake lines, change all your fluids, and you rock and roll, and you probably still have some change to pay for a new pair of trainers that you're going to need because you came off and you didn't have boots on and you scraped your toes through them. The fact of the matter is, is that, is that worth it in any respect whatsoever? People are saying about changing sprockets to get higher top speed. That's coming real soon, literally I'll give you a demo. We're gonna do a demo, we're gonna have to do a demo because people won't believe anything until they see it. So, Power Commanders, I've got another plan for Power Commanders in regards to 125s, because like I said, Charlie's got one. Any anyway, rod. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk, or in this video, we're going to talk about the basics of just what all this means. You say nine horsepower to a lad, and he'll go, "I've heard that shit," but what does that even mean? You know, stuff like that. Shoot, you shift out the way. Um, so what we have, right? The best way I can think of describing it. Imagine we have a graph like this. I know graphs are boring, but you'll get over it. And we've got one, two, three, four five um one two three four five so this is rpm along the bottom and then up here let's just say we have our torque and just say we go like that so that's five ten fifteen it doesn't matter if this torque here is in newton meters or foot pounds doesn't matter for this demonstration so what we have is we have a line just say we've got a flat torque curve everyone talks about flattening out torque curves let's just say we've got an infinitely just a flat torque curve beautiful right and then what we do is the way you calculate horsepower in essence is you get the torque because the torque is a uh, round that's all it is it's a power stroke it's only, it's, it is the power stroke, it's just uh, down, that's about it. Now, there is a bit of inertial torque, so basically energy stored in the flywheel, but a lot of that is actually supped, unless you've got multiple cylinders, but we're thinking of a single cylinder. So just it's just the power stroke, it's just the uh, from your power stroke. But then you have to multiply that over time. You can go, uh, <laughs> that's going to become a meme on its own. You'll feel it. You can just have one power stroke per minute. That'd be fuck all. You know what I mean? Absolutely nothing. Where if you continuously do it more and more times, then you're going to do more work over time, which means it's more power. But basically, all you do is you go, right, 1 times 10 is 10. Now, let's put another scale on this side. I don't know how well this is going to work out, but we're going to call this power on this side. Right, and we're going to call it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that. So we'll call this 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And we call that power. Just the way you read it is our torque line is on this side. So in a sense, really, what we should do, or what I should do, is put that 5, 10, 15 on there, like so. So it's obvious the red line is torque, the black line is going to be power. And all we do is we go along and we get our torque figure, which is 10 all the time in this instance, and we times it by 1. So 10 times 1 is 10, so we put that there. 
And then we've got 2 times 10 is 20, so we put that there. 3 times 10 is 30. I've actually done this completely wrong, haven't I? 35, 40. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just look at the numbers at the bottom. Let's start that again. But you can see what I'm doing here. Let's just get rid of these for a second. Really beautifully. Oh, talk about dripping with autism. I was just I'm trying to explain things. So we'll say that's 20, 40, 60. Let's do it like that. So that would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Right, so there we go, that's a bit better. So starting again. Oops, and we're fucking with proper guff. I'm proper guffing this up. So 10 would be down here, 1 times 10 is 10, 2 times 10 is 20, like that, 3 times 10 is 30, 4, four times 10 is 40, and 5 times uh, 10 is 50. So you can see there, we've got this line. And that's where your, um, that's not what you do, it's just to give you the idea. This is why you have a line that goes up and down and everything else. So what we're going to do is, we are going to, in a sense now, now you get the idea, in that very plain idea, is that your engine has a sweet spot. Just like jogging, you get into the, you get into that sweet spot, you get into that rhythm. You start going any fast, faster, you start getting knackered out. And let's just say, our peak is here, right? So let's just say our torque does this, it's a straight line, and it comes back down to five on this scale. So we've got this kind of peak here. So if we do the same kind of thing, and we mark on here where these points are, and then basically we just look where they are in relation to wherever. So our power graph would start out as, let's call that six, right? So six would be down here, right? On our power scale, our power scale here, right? Um, let's say that's, fuck it, let's say it's eight. Two times eight, 16, where would 16 be? 60 would be down here, and then you get to this bit, so that's our peak torque. Right, so that's our peak torque. So then you get to 3000 RPM, it's 10 times 3 is 30, so that goes up there. So you can see, already, we've got this progression going up like that. Now this is the interesting thing, we've reached peak torque. So the next one is 8, 4. So 4 times 8 is uh, 32. So 32 is higher than this one. This one's 30. So 32 would be just say just there like that. And then 5, what are we at? 5 times 5 is 25. So 25 would be there. And as you can see, we get this going on. Right? So you can see that peak horsepower doesn't have to be where peak torque is. This isn't the best example. But you can see what I mean is our peak one here, what was this? This was 32, right? That's 32, that's 30. So even after peak torque, our peak power here, doesn't matter what the scale is, it depends how you scale this. You know, we could have scaled this so it's right up here or something like that. It doesn't matter. Actually, no, fuck it, let's do that. The scaling, and this is not the same thing as SAE scaling. So let's just say we go, it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. We did the same kind of graph, and you've just changed the scale on the side. All right, that's all you've done. Let's do the same thing again. So our six, we'll call that six, let's put the numbers in. We'll call that six, we'll call that eight, we'll call that 10, we'll call that eight, and we'll call that five, just say, like that. All right, that's our torque curve, and obviously this is at five. So we could also do zero time, well it's just zero, you forget about that shit. Um, because even then we're not really moving, so our torque should start there. That was bad of me, I shouldn't have drawn that on there. It's trying to get the idea into people's heads. So are we, one times five, because our torque is, oh no, one times six is six, so six is about there. Uh, two times eight is 16, which would put it uh, just about there actually. And then 3 times 10 is 30, which put it right up here. And then 4 times 8 is 32, which would put it up there. And then 5 times 5 is 25, which would put it there. 
So now we've got a wibbly wobbly power curve that looks like that. And that's what I mean, that's how you get this thing. This is why peak torque would be about here, at, at peak power, sorry, that would be 32, let's just say it's horsepower, something like that. Now this is not how you calculate it, because there are conversion factors, and the reason why there are conversion factors is, uh, it's to do with radians, we'll go into why it's 5252, and like I said, they don't cross 5252 on here, because we haven't done that kind of sum. What I'm saying is, is that you have to take your torque, and I'm trying to explain that even if you have a torque curve that goes up, and drops back down again, that your power will still increase. You know what I mean? So if we forget all that, if we forget all that there, we just tell it all to, well, let's just tell it all to fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> if we get rid of all of that, like so, you can still see that after 3000 RPM, our torque is doing nothing but dropping, but our power nudges up and then falls back down. And it's all about these numbers as, as you multiply them. The torque number, the, the, even though the torque's slightly dropping off, your factors here are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They're all linear, but you get what I mean. And that's why you get this bump over the top of it. If you look at all your numbers on the torque graph, and you literally got a graph out, and uh, some graph paper or whatever, or just drew all the lines on where the RPM is, and do your conversion factor of divide by 5252, five, five, depends if you're using newton meters or torque, uh, newton meters or foot pounds, and you know, basically, if you're trying to work out kilowatts or uh, horsepower, and there's even conversions the other way. So, you might go, Oh, I went from 3000 rpm to 4000 rpm, but that's a 33% increase. So, you're doing, even though it's lighter torque, it's from 10 to 8, you're doing it 33 times more, 33% more, not times more, 33% more. So, when you add that up, it's just gonna bump, it's not gonna equal it, can equal it depending what the numbers are, but it's just not going to fall off. People seem to expect that power falls off when torque does. And this is why torque is so important. Um, if you have a flat torque curve and the, the scale across the bottom is linear, you can see you just get a fucking straight line. You know, the faster you go, the more torque you have, which will be perfect. And the reason why that's perfect is the faster you go, the more resistance you come up against, but then your engine's producing more and more power. This is just good for just basically um, a linear acceleration where, uh, you know, these drags and stuff and all this, they have shitloads of power low down. That's to get you fucking accelerate as quickly as possible. Just basically your brute force in it. Anyway, Rod, I hope that makes sense. There was, like I said, there's a few emails uh, over the night and yesterday of people saying, I don't understand why that falls off and then that keeps on going up. That's the crudest way. Now, there's loads of people in the comments who are going to put, like, if you just multiply, blah, blah, blah. But when people, they don't get that. If they got that, they would just do the maths and go, aha, uh -huh, well, yes, that's an accumulating fucking, you know what I mean? They would get that, but they don't get that. They want to see why. And it's basically, it's this is mathematics by, paint by numbers. You know what I mean? You can see what you times by what. Now, I must stress, this is not how you work out these diagrams because they don't pass at 5252, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, and there's some dinos I see, dino graphs, where you can see that there's something wrong because they don't cross at 5252 if it's um, imperial. I must stress that as well. So if it's in horsepower and foot pounds, stuff like that. Hope that makes sense. This is one of these subjects where you say it in a very simple way and loads of people say, going, eh, fucking hell, that's too, too basic. And then other people say, you said it the, comp not the complicated way, you said it the normal way, or the complicated way, and I didn't get that. If you get it, you get it. Then you don't need to be fucking worrying about these kind of videos. If you don't get it, hopefully this helped. And that's why I say, hope that made sense, and I'll see you in a bit.